Hi everybody, Scott with Professional Golf Instruction. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Gonna walk you through how I built a adjustable putting platform so I could work on my game, so I could work with other people, help them to you know learn how to square up a putter at impact or even some varying uh, breaks within a green. So this is adjustable platform. I can hit an uphill right to left, uphill left to right, downhill right to left, left to right. I can hit a flat putt. It's uh, 10 by 15 feet, and I built it on a budget. So I think everybody could scrape together some lumber, get some turf, put this in their garage maybe, or even uh, in their basement if they got a corner, and come up with one heck of a uh, place to practice through the winter. So do me a favor, click on like or subscribe if you get any inspiration, if you see something that you like that you might be able to use, or reach out to me through the website tourputtingcoach.com or squaredimpact.com if you have any questions or if you want a, uh, a build I can you know put some schematics together and send them over to you based on your space and uh, hopefully you can find something that helps you improve your game throughout the winter so appreciate you taking the time to look let's check it out see how we put it all together okay so I nailed my header board then I tacked a nail at the top of that two by ran a string all the way to the other end and on this end the nail is higher so it creates a natural slope from back to front I also have drilled holes for my extensions I'm going to connect my jacks so from the outside I'll have access to a ratchet where I'll be able to increase the level and I have pre-cut all of my 2 buys 2 by 10 exact to create an even square across the base. Okay, so from a leveling standpoint perspective, here's what I've done. I put together a card jack underneath my subfloor, drilled a hole through my sidewall, and connected an impact wrench. So now all I have to do is hit the button, and I can lift up the subfloor. So then lower it. Simply hitting the button a couple times, and I can lift it as high or low as I want. All right, so first of all, on a finished product, I want to talk to you a little bit about how I set it up. So on this end, I got a straight putt, just under 10 feet. If I'm going towards the screen, I got an uphill right to left putt. On the left side, I have an uphill or flat left to right putt, and then vice versa. If I want to come down the hill, I got the opposite. So. This section of the putting green forward is adjustable. It comes up and down, left to right. I do that with a cordless drill or an impact wrench. I'll show you here, I got it up. I'll take it down real quick so you can just see how much movement I actually get. Probably be able to watch my uh, body. That was pretty quick, I know, but you know, you get the gist of it. I'm not gonna sit here and run this video for too long. So if I wanna bring it all the way up, I got a pretty good increase. Also, when I'm hitting shots into the screen, I kind of leave that front end up 
so the balls naturally trickle back and I'm not chasing balls all day long. So coming back down, you know, obviously it's gonna be a little quicker. I got some putts that have some break naturally built in. So 10 to 11 on the stem, it rolls pretty true like a, uh, like a bent grass green in the Northeast. And it's pretty awesome. So the turf I got through Forever Lawn, which is a local artificial turf uh, producer, reseller. They actually are putting in all the turf for uh, the Hall of Fame, football Hall of Fame. So they know what they're doing. They came out, cut the holes, cut it to size, dropped it in. It was really awesome. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. I could hit chip shots off here if I want. It's not gonna burn the grass. It's a nice, good, high premium quality putting surface. I got a built-in 18 inch uh, impact for my full swing. Underneath it, I have one inch foam built up on a support system. So my subfloor has a cutout, which I'll show you. So when I'm hitting full shots, I don't have the joint pain or I don't have any impacts that really are shocking. Nice, true to say a fairway. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. As I go around, I have uh, a few other tricks I'll show you. Stand by. Okay, one other aspect that this platform has that allows for adjustability is that I inserted air wedges. I have them set up around the system. You simply squeeze and pump up an area and you can build in brake. You wanna take it out, you hit the button and you stand on it and it comes back out. So I got them around the system you can see me here, takes it right out. So it's quick, it's easy, it works, and it's cheap. Okay. All right, last but not least, I have the technology side of it. I have pre-drilled a, a hole through my side panel and brought a USB cable up, micro USB to connect to my simulator so I can have my, my system hardwired into the computer and I don't have to use the wireless to connect remote. I can if I want, but that allows the wireless to work on something else. So I, I prefer to use the hard wire. Um, the last thing I have is uh, some lighting. I bought some LED 50 foot adhesive back strip with a remote and uh, run it underneath the track all the way around. So turn that on, I can change my colors, I can make it change for, you know, if you're gonna have the kids out to do some sort of fun night, you could do just about anything you want with it. You could put it on straight white, lower the lights up top, and it gives you a real nice focus on the putting surface. And for 20 bucks, I mean, how can you pass that up? You almost gotta build that into every system, I think, going forward. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Again, you know, if you see anything you like and you're gonna incorporate in yours, do me a favor, just click on that like button or subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna come up with uh, you know new ideas as we go. I built this myself. I had the, the company come in and just lay the turf on top of it, but other than that, it didn't take all that much. It was on a fixed budget. I didn't break the bank trying to put this together. It's some lumber and uh, you know space. If you have a spot in your basement, garage, out barn, anywhere. I mean, you could throw this together at any size, so. I love the way it turned out. I love the adjustability. I've been hitting putts on it and it's really, you know, tricked me a lot of times. It makes me sit back and think where when I putt just on a mat, on a straight surface, I can, it takes me two, three minutes to figure out the putt and then, you know, I'm really not thinking. This changes it up all the time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully you see something that you like. Appreciate you tuning in. Talk to you later.